Okay, so skin, you want to keep your skin really hydrated. Use a water spray first and then put your moisturizer on right away. Really? Yeah. Okay, I never do that. The oil in the moisturizer is sealing in all of that water and it'll keep your skin really plump. Okay. Spritz the water, moisturizer right away. Yep. Now primer. A primer can really help to make your makeup last. Like you were saying, it kind of feels like it's sliding off mm -hmm. of skin or face primer. We'll keep your makeup on and it'll keep your skin looking very matte. If you have uh, really, really dry skin, mm -hmm. you would use these primers that show more radiance and more reflection on the skin. Okay. The other ones you would use down here to keep yourself really, really matte and keep your makeup okay. lasting longer. You want radiance in the right places. Right? Thank you. So foundation. Okay. Um, this is called face and body foundation. Okay. You can almost put it on like a moisturizer. It'll, it's really super sheer. It's really plastic and reflective and flexible, water resistant. That's huge, oh, okay. okay? As you get sweaty and oily right. and all those things, it's not gonna affect yep. you. When I use a sponge, I feel like I have to use way more. Because you're wiping it all off. Because okay. you're putting okay. it on, wiping okay. it off. So put it on where you want it most, okay? You're a little bit red here. Okay. A little bit red here. Let's okay. Put it on with nose. that and do, then do, 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 do. with that. Okay. And then you're just sort of... And let it dry. Like, and then, and then you kind of stipple it. Okay. Stipple. So stippling is extra coverage. Okay. You don't want a big thick concealer, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. You don't. Okay. You think you do. Okay. Um, if you have a blemish or something like that or a yes. birthmark that you want to cover up, that's a thick concealer. Okay. But under the eye? Yes. No. And I'm only going in this area here. Close your eyes. Really super sheer. On the eyelid too? A little bit, just to, you don't have to, but you sort of, let's see. See, it brightens around the eye area. Totally. I love the effect of this thing. Yes. I've heard before that you really only need foundation in the T-zone. That is true. You can use a powder foundation, but it should be a loose powder, a mineral powder. Okay? Why? Because you dust it on really, really sheer. Mm -hmm. It covers, and it doesn't do that thick, cakey. And obviously, you guys can check it on camera to make sure you look okay. Um, or if you're at home, Snap a picture with your iPhone and it'll show you if you have too much powder or too much lightness. That's anywhere. a great tip.